So the outline to this piece might look a tad familiar from that Rusto video I just put up, and honestly, I found myself putting some new twists on the original sketch while I was out on the wall that I needed to kind of work out and flesh out a little bit more just to see where those features could go. I was really happy with how the V on the last piece kind of had a much more monster style and kind of embodied the center of the piece much better. I, you know, I so often design something and then almost totally move away from it on my next piece. You know, whether that's me just getting bored with that style or just being guilty of liking to try something new and diverse every time to keep it a little bit more interesting. But I kind of wanted to slow things down a little, revisit these features. You know, I've been trying to do that eyeball on top of my eye in like five or six different pieces at this point and really try to work through those design practices with the same kind of outline or the same kind of features to try to build those up and see where, you know, a little bit more devotion can take them. So by all means, this one, I kind of went for a little bit softer style on that V. It's still kind of that monster style, but it's almost kind of like a fur style where you got each of those hooks kind of coming over top, but they could also kind of be that classic, you know, monster style fur that is kind of cartoonized as well. So I had a lot of fun with this V around too, and I think this is gonna be a, a reoccurring theme here where I'm gonna be trying to actually dive a little deeper and further develop all of these. It was nice to actually take these features and be a little bit more freeform with them and kind of just go in with the you know first pass of the outline and get them relayed down based off the memory of the old piece and, and then just kind of see where they land. I can really suggest trying this out, you know. It's obviously there's benefit to revising your pieces, but it's honestly, you know, a lot of fun just to kind of try to take the memory of the piece, try to take what you thought you liked from it, and kind of relay that down and totally fresh from the start because your design choices change so quickly, and especially with lettering, you know, if one little change of the line arc is going to change the whole momentum of the piece, you know, that thing compounds ten times over when you're redefining each letter and each step. So this was a ton of fun, and I think I'm going to be revisiting it again and again and again from here on out, trying to really kind of not nitpick it, but push it. And after all, if there's something more to dig out of the style, maybe I'll learn a thing along the way. Let me know what you think of the comparison of the two pieces, if you think they're different enough or if they captured that similar essence to one another. And be sure to drop a comment if you've ever kind of revisited some of your pieces or tried to revise them. As far as supplies, I stuck with the Dick Blick Studio markers. You know, those are my go-to for the alcohol markers. Got some of the brush tips in there. Got some of the classic, just graphic style ones. And then Sharpies and fine liner Sharpies for the outline. Super simple, got the 228s on the backdrop. This one was definitely a fun one to make and I hope you enjoyed the little decipher of my design psyche here. Check out the uh, couple other videos I've been uploading on the channel. Maybe even check out that live stream that I posted last week. That's gonna do it for me guys, peace.